What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about BNGO and I know everybody's talking about it right now because it's going freaking crazy. It's going crazy and I don't know, don't ask me what you should do with your stock because I don't know and I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> like, seriously, like this thing is is has gone to the moon, came back, went to Mars, came back, went to Saturn. I don't know where it's going. Like, like this could easily go to 10 or it could go to $3. None of us know. None of us are profits. None of us can tell you where this stock is going to go. But there's a new study that was just published today that I want to share with you guys that one of my uh, patrons in my Discord, if you're not part of the party yet, it's it's it, it's a great time over there. We just passed 300 uh, patrons yesterday. We're at 382 already. So guys, it's it's a uh, it's an amazing time over there. I'm having a blast. So thank you for sharing this uh, article on bio nanogenomics with me. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I'm Richard Allen. We talk about stocks on this channel and everybody's talking about BNGO. Bingo was his name. Oh, genomics right now because this thing is, is over $6 per share now. Now, Tom Nash posted a great video earlier, kind of with a word of caution saying, you know what? This thing could keep going to the moon, but it could also just drop. And talked about kind of the troubled past of BNGO and how quickly they're burning cash and how realistically they're probably going to have to raise some money via some sort of offering soon. And why wouldn't they when their stock has run up so much? so much now that doesn't mean that this stock isn't just going to keep going to the moon clearly they're publishing study after study now and maybe there's somebody in their pr department that knows exactly what they're doing to get people excited for this company i don't know where this is going to go i'm not invested in this right now because i'm not going to chase anything and that could mean i'm going to miss out on a lot of profits but there are a lot of opportunities out there um and if if eventually ARK Invest jumps in and they, they put them in the ARK G fund next to Pack B and, and Vite and some of the other amazing genomics companies in the world. Um, then it might be a really great investment for me to jump into as well. Um, but they don't even have FDA approval yet. They're, they're, people are saying that this could come this month at some point. Once that happens, that could be a huge catalyst for the stock. Um, for other funds to jump on and there are some funds that own this already um, but I am still leery of this because anytime a stock does run up like this has run up I mean there there's likely some sort of correction but there might not be I don't know guys like I this one is is baffling to me and I know a lot of you guys are excited about it and a lot of you specifically in my discord as well have made a ton of money on this and i'm and, and i'm glad that's awesome but i'm not going to chase it the, the article i want to talk about um was was published today and it says bio nanogenomics publishes study on autism risk genes after detailed analysis of the genome of professor temple grandin who has brought awareness to autism spectrum disorder through her activism temple grandin if you're not familiar with who she is um she is she has such a brilliant mind. She's actually a, uh, a consultant and an analyst to the livestock industry. And she's really pioneered um, um, the, the way um, the livestock industry is run. By how they design their, their cages and their walks and different things for cattle. Um, I, I watched a couple things on Temple Grandin, uh, specifically like her TED Talk um, and a couple different documentaries. And she's, she's brilliant. And, um, and she sees her autism disorder as really as as a strength of hers because she can get down and think like the animals that's what she says and so it's it's fantastic that um they profiled her to begin with but we're going to talk about um th this article and this study and how bio nanogenomics they want to change the world and and i'm excited for this company I'm just a bit leery of the of the share price right now because I think there's bound to be a pullback, but I could be wrong. So let's just jump right into the article. It says, 
Uh, Bionanogenomics announced today the publication in the Journal of Personalized Medicine by Linogen, its CLIA Certified Diagnostic Services subsidiary of an analysis of Professor Temple Grandin's genome in one of the most comprehensive evaluations of a single genome spit all over my mic that's nasty richard that's nasty in the <laughs> in one of the most comprehensive evaluations of a single genome of a high functioning individual with autism spectrum disorder so through this study they identified novel variants in the known autism spectrum disorder risk genes and other genetic variants important to her health and wellness Despite Dr. Grandin's high level of functioning and acute awareness of how her ASD manifests, these findings have led to improved clinical management of many of her symptoms. Dr. Grandin was diagnosed with ASD during her childhood and was nonverbal until the age of three. Um, they talk about how she avoided physical touch and had difficulties with social interactions. That's pretty normal with ASD. Um, but she became a world-renowned doctor and scientist. And she's authored books called The Autistic Brain and Thinking in Pictures. I mean, this it, she's she's brilliant. But she she talks about how she's experienced a long, lifelong history of of different sort of issues associated with her her autism, uh, specifically insomnia, anxiety, and panic attacks. One of the one of the coolest things about this study is that it it identified that some of the drugs that she was on needed to be adjusted because her metabolism wasn't uh, correctly metabolizing these drugs. So, um, and the, these are like, this is like critical information to her um, that she's had issues before with significant bleeding related to issues during surgery. Um, so just gen genetic testing in general is really going to change the way that the medical industry works period and we're just we're really kind of at the forefront of it because it's it's expensive to to uh analyze someone's genome it's spent it's expensive to do sequencing and mapping it's expensive to do any sort of analysis uh regarding uh genomics at all this kind of thing will be commonplace eventually and and bio nanogenomics or bngo could be around for the long haul and this could be just the beginning the, the ceo of uh, bio nanogenomics talks about how widespread adoption of genetic testing is important to patients and families because it creates a better understanding of asd but more importantly informs families and patients about immediate health risks associated with asd that could personalize treatment options and provide potentially life-saving information. He says, we are grateful to Dr. Grandin for her, her willingness to participate in this study. Now that Linogen has become a part of bionanogenomics, we are expanding this study in the next phase to include a full analysis of her genome using optical genome mapping with Sapphire. The wide spec spectrum of genetic variation between individuals with ASD makes it difficult for traditional tests to provide a diagnosis of the genetic condition. We expect OGM, which is optical genome mapping with Sapphire, to reveal a more complete picture of genomic variants that provides actionable information that can potentially improve outcomes. This type of technology is going to change the medical industry. It, it, this, it, this won't be something that we, that we just um, use for autism or, or like one or two disorders. I mean, this will help healthcare, period. This, this will make your health, healthcare more tailored to you. I, I'm just, I'm imagining a world, right, where we, we know what medicines we can take and what medicines we can't take, right? Not just based on allergies or something, but based on our genome. We know what's going to work better. And it, a, a lot of a lot of medicine right now, diagnostic medicine specifically, is kind of guesswork. A, a, a lot of doctors are trying to rule out things, right? And they're told to look for look for horses, not zebras. Meaning, right, right, horses are more common than zebras, so don't look for the thing that it might be because it's unlikely that they have that disease, right? That analogy is, is where did I get that analogy from? House or something, I don't know. But regarding the change that genomics can have 
on our medical health, I, I, it's life-changing. It's life-changing. This type of technology is life-changing and life-saving. And I, I really love the genomics industries. I, I, I don't understand it um, enough. And that's fine because I didn't go to medical school. <laughs> I'm not a geneticist. I, I, I accept that I'm not going to understand this. But I know that it, it, it's important. And I know the work that bio-nanogenomics is doing is important. Um, I just... I don't want anybody to lose their shorts but uh, with this stock. But hey, you could make a ton of money. Let's, uh, let's pull up the stock chart. And see where we're at. I think we're still over six dollars right now. Yeah, guys. I mean, it's at six dollars and thirty-five cents a share, and it doesn't—it doesn't look like it's stopping. I really like that it's been trading sideways um, today. That's amazing. The market cap on this is almost a billion dollars now. Again, we, we we did a comparison with them in Pack B. Pack B is at about a five billion dollar market cap. In my video uh, about BNGO, the first one. Um, I, I said that they only had a million dollars in revenue. Um, I was wrong. Uh, I actually pinned a comment. Somebody corrected me. I pinned that comment. They have uh, they had ten million dollars worth of revenue uh, last year. Um, so that was a big, big difference to be ten times off, um, and and that makes me a little more confident in the long term of of bio nanogenomics. But again, if you haven't seen Tom Nash's video this morning on BNGO. It's a fantastic look at the fundamentals of the business and talking about the cash burn rate. And, and it's something to be concerned about. Again, this could continue to run and run and run and run. And there's no looking back. We don't know, right? Um, but it, they could certainly do some sort of offering relatively soon. And if they do um, in the first quarter or second quarter, there would probably naturally be some sort of pullback. But... I think people are talking about speculating that ARK Invest is getting involved. I've heard I've heard speculations of, of ARK having a meeting with the BNGO CEO. I, I don't know. That sounds fantastic. BNGO CEO. Um, I've, I've heard of ARK probably have a meeting with them or something like that. Again, all of this is, is a rumor, but that's the kind of thing that happens with this stock. So, um, again, I'm not saying buy, sell because I'm not a financial advisor. And frankly, I don't know enough about genomics to probably even be talking about this, but I'm sure you'll forgive me. Um, I, I, I really like this study. Um, I've been a fan of Temple Grandin since I've listened to her TED Talk and, and, uh, and uh, watched a couple documentaries on her. She's absolutely amazing. And it's cool that they were able to profile um, her and, and analyze her genome uh, because I think this type of technology... Um, is going to help a lot of people. And that's the kind of company that I want to be um, involved in long term. Um, and I really hope that they get FDA approval soon. I hope that ARK Invest jumps on the bandwagon um, because uh, I, I think, again, I think this company um, and many genomics companies are, are absolutely going to change the world. So um, that's all I have on this company. Um, again, thank you to my Discord and my patron members. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you haven't joined the party already, um, there's a link down in the description. It's patreon.com slash I'm Richard Allen. I would love to see you guys over there. Um, and uh, again, you'll get live updates uh, from me whenever I do trades. Um, I only made a couple trades today because the market's been crazy. Um, but, I, but I have all the faith in the world that those trades will be profitable. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. As always, if you didn't already do it, click that beautiful red subscribe button down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.